Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Suzanne Tilly. If today is your first time of watching me, then I want to give you a very special welcome to my channel. On this channel, I bring you motivation and I also bring you information about living, working and schooling in the UK. And so if you ever have plans of traveling to the United Kingdom, then you are at the right channel. Just subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified anytime I upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what the seasonal workers visa is all about. Guys, the UK is in need of non-skilled workers. Yes, the UK is in need of non-skilled workers and so there's a good news out there for you, whether you are educated or not. This video is going to help you so stay right here with me because I'm going to share with you what this seasonal workers visa is about. I'm going to share with you the eligibility criteria. In other words, who qualifies for this visa? I'm going to be sharing with you the validity, how long you can work with this visa. I'm going to share with you what you can do with it and what you cannot do with it as well as why you should apply for this visa. And so stay right here with me. But before I bring you the details, I want to say that this video is proudly sponsored by Link World Business Consultancy. And um, they are into travel and tourism. They are into educational advisory. They are also into global logistics advisory as well as coaching and mentoring. And so if you are planning to travel and you need somebody to talk to, then I'm going to leave their details in the comments section. So please make it a point to check them out, check out their website and see how best they can assist you on your journey. Let's get started. So now what is the seasonal workers visa all about? Now this visa was introduced in 2019 and it was to allow you to come to the UK to come and work basically in the horticulture sector. But on 18th of October 2022, we have the current government or the current prime minister coming up with another sector within the seasonal workers visa. That is the poultry sector. Okay, so now the seasonal workers visa is not only meant for horticulture sector, but it also now includes the poultry sector. And I'm going to be talking about the roles or what you'll be expected to do whilst working in this sector in few minutes. Okay, and so this visa, the exciting part of it is that you do not need any special skill. That is why we call it the unskilled workers visa. So you don't need to worry whether you've been to school or not. This visa is for everybody. Okay, but I'm going to also talk to you about the eligibility, what you need before you can apply for this visa. First of all, before you can apply for this visa, you need a passport. Aside your passport, you need to be above or you need to be from the age of 18 years and above. Secondly, you need to have a sponsor or you need to have a certificate of sponsorship. And when I say certificate of sponsorship, that means that you must get an employer who is willing to sponsor your um, visa. He or she is going to give you a reference number that you are going to use to apply for the visa. And lastly, you need to be able to have enough funds, at least £1,270 in your account in the past 28 days. Okay, so that is how exciting it is. So don't worry if you haven't been to school. Don't worry if you don't have any special skill. You can still 
apply for this visa. Another exciting thing about this visa is that it is very quick. You are able to get a decision within 28 days of your application. How exciting it is. Why? Because the government wants you. He needs you. He wants you to come because there is shortage in these industries. That is the horticulture industry and in the poultry industry. And so he needs you so bad that he does not want to waste your time. You get a decision as quickly as possible. Well, maybe you are asking yourself how long this visa is going to uh, last okay now this visa is expected to run from 2022 to 2024 and currently the government has decided to give 38,000 visas um, in the horticulture sector each year and then 2,000 visas in the poultry sector each year even though quota can change every year but currently as it stands it means that every year the uk government is willing to issue forty thousand temporary um migrant visa to people who are willing to come and work in the country in these two sectors so i think that this is a very great and a very fantastic news to you now the question is when can you apply when can you apply for the horticulture sector at least you can apply anytime within the year but for the poultry sector because the demand for poultry is very high during christmas it is expected that if you really want to come through this route then latest by 15th of november each year you have to apply for this visa that is the poultry sector remember this is a temporary visa it is not a visa that is meant to give you a permanent stay i'll be telling you the benefits even though it is temporary but before then i mentioned that i was going to tell you details of what you will be expected to do whilst um, working in this scheme or whilst working under this visa okay so if you are working in the agricultural sector then these are some of the things that you will be expected to do okay um, you can work as crop maintenance personnel you can also work as um irrigation and installation and maintenance personnel you can work in packaging and processing of crops okay and then if you are working in the poultry sector then it means that you can be um work as a poultry processor or as a food operative or as a poultry vaccinator or poultry meat packer these are some of the things that you are or you'll be expected to do. This means that this job is not for people who are expecting to go and sit in the office and, you know, be commanding people here and there. This is get to your knees job. So I'm sorry, but if you are not willing to do hard work, then this job or this visa is not for you so be advised before you go and apply for this visa now how long can you stay in the country if you are on this visa well if you are on the horticulture or if you are working in the horticulture sector then you are allowed to stay in the country for six months but if you are working in the poultry sector then you are allowed to stay from the 18th of october to the 31st of december each year however you are allowed to enter the country 14 days before the start of your job as stated on your certificate of sponsorship the reason being that during this period that is when the demand for poultry 
is very high so they will need a lot of people to work in the poultry sector okay and remember that the deadline for your application is on 15th of november so if you do it on 15th of november that means that you just have barely one month to come and work in the country and go back okay but you can start applying for eight three months before the start date once you get a sponsor okay question again is what can you do on this visa what you can do on this visa is that you can take up extra work within that same sector when you travel to the country you can take up extra work and make extra income okay you can also do a temporary study whilst you are in the country what can you not do you cannot take up a permanent job okay that means that you cannot come into the country and switch for a permanent job if you ever have to switch for a permanent job that means that you need to go back into your country and then reapply and then come back so you cannot take up a permanent job also you cannot um work in a second job that is not related to what is described on your certificate of sponsorship okay that implies that you cannot come um and say that you're coming to work in these two sectors and then you want to now apply to be a nurse or you want to now switch to a skilled work okay or you want to now do something unrelated to what is stated on your certificate of sponsorship you cannot do that if you do that or if you get anybody to sponsor you then it means that you need to go back to your country reapply and then come back so you cannot switch whilst you are here okay also you cannot get public funds that means that you cannot get any funds from the government and also the sad part of this is that you cannot bring your dependents or you cannot bring your family members along that is the sad part of it but all right so does it mean that does it mean that this visa is not beneficial looking at all the um the looking at all the issues or looking at all the um limitations the fact that you can't bring your family the fact that um it's temporary you have to go back to your country after that i would say that no it is very beneficial to you because first and foremost um at least you get the opportunity to come to the uk and um, whilst you are here you can begin to also explore other opportunities you can begin to even look for skilled work and once you get the job you can go back to your country and reapply and come as a skilled worker okay also uh, you get the opportunity to actually explore so um, in the UK, especially if you have plans of just coming for um, tourism, then you don't just come as a tourist, but you also get the opportunity to make some good income whilst you are here that can help cut down some cost for you. And another part is the fact that you can also do a temporary course or you can study whilst you are here. And also for me, I think that the fact that you get the UK visa stamp in your passport can also be a good opportunity for you because I know that mostly when you're going to look for a visa in any part of the world, they will ask you, have you ever traveled to any country before? And the chances of you receiving a yes answer when you have um travel to other part of the world before is very high than somebody who hasn't traveled before it is not guaranteed please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that if you've not traveled before you cannot receive um a yes to your visa application but i'm just saying that the fact that you come to the country temporary and you go back even if you have plans of traveling to any part of the world 
it can be a good opportunity for you to receive a yes to your visa just because you have a UK stamp. So why don't you um, start thinking about it? I know that um, the year is almost ended. And so if you are now going to think of applying, it might be too late, but maybe this is the time for you to start considering applying for this type of visa next year god willing if you have been attempting to come to the uk but you have been um, limited because you don't have english language um, um, proof or you don't have any form of degree or you don't have any form of skilled um, work and because of that you find it difficult receiving your visa this could be a good opportunity for you since no degree or no qualification is needed so i do hope that this video was beneficial to you and you might have picked one or two things from it remember to check out on um the links world consultancy um page in the comment section whilst i drop the link there if you ever have any challenge or you need help in your journey of traveling or you need any educational advisory travel and tourism advisory just contact them and you will be helped again the name is Susan Tilly if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so you can be notified anytime I upload a video thank you for watching bye bye